In this video, I'll show you how to use volumetric fog in a retro horror game with a fixed camera. Um, and so this basically what we're going to be looking at today is uh, how retro horror games are really interesting and cool, but they often lack sort of modern rendering techniques. And you can use these modern rendering techniques like volumetric fog or volumetric lighting to add a certain mood to your scene. Um, and that mood can help enhance the player experience. So first I'll give a sort of comparison of what the scene looks like without this system in place. And then I'll give you a quick walkthrough of what it actually looks like in practice. So um, the first thing we're going to do is completely disable the volumetric fog system that we have in place. So that's Buto. You can see what that looks like here. You can see that we immediately lose a large part of the sort of vibe and aesthetic in the scene. So I turned off the lights as well so you can get a better sense for what we're looking at here. Then when we turn on the volumetric fog, you can see we right away get this kind of nice spooky feeling in the scene. And you can customize different fog properties and settings to make it feel spookier or kind of, um, you know, a little more subtle, things like that. Now, once we add these lights back in, you get this really nice kind of glow. And you can see that expanding from here in the foreground to all the way in the background as well. And you can customize the color of these things as well. So you can see that happening back here. Um, and you can change it to you know any color you'd like. You can see that's on this one. And that one's down here. So it's really nice because it helps you draw some attention to different sections of your scene and give a little bit more mood to those areas in your scene as well. So now using it with a fixed camera system, I'll just go in a going to go ahead and show what that looks like. So um, here we are toggling between two fixed camera views and you can see that it's working really nicely and we have this fog kind of showing up here. And then once we go over here, you can instantly see that the fog looks really nice. We have some uh, background lighting there as well. And you can go ahead and move these capsules around. I didn't bother setting up like a character controller in this scene, but you can see it looks really nice um, in motion as well. Right. And um, so the system that we set up here, it's really simple, but I'll just give a quick walkthrough. So you have Buto on the volume along with tone mapping on our main camera. We have post processing enabled and we have a Cinemachine brain with the default blend mode of cut. And then we have two virtual cameras. So this one's targeting our first capsule and this one's targeting our second capsule. And then uh, we have a little controller here that just kind of toggles between these two. Um, when you press spacebar. So it's pretty simple and it kind of just looks like this. We just kind of have an array of these and then we toggle between them when you press the spacebar. And that's pretty much it. So um, you can uh, kind of customize the settings and give a really nice vibe to a retro horror game or any other kind of game that you're working on. Uh, so Buto is really a great fit for a variety of games and I hope that this kind of illustrated uh, how you could use it for this type of game or a different type of game as well. So I'll include a link for it in the description below. And this environment pack is actually also available. Um, and so I'll include a link to that as well if you're interested in checking that out. Thanks for watching. Cheers.